basically, I, I calculated the um, chain first, and then I calculated all the other ones where I couldn't count between the zeroth and the first element because I'd already done that. And so just one less. Um, I didn't write down a whole lot on that because that one was straightforward. So it was less than 2n for the combination thing, so it has to be theta of n. Okay. I mean, I have n minus 1 links to get the chain. Yep. And then n minus 2 links to get all of the rest. So that's a total of 2n minus 3, which is theta of n. Right? Yeah. I guess kind of a another way to think about it, uh, I mean, in this case, I guess it's kind of simple, but one thing I like to do with you know, some more complicated graphs is like what happens when you add one more edge. Um, so like you have your combination lock and you add another edge, you're going to add two more nodes. So kind of each edge, you know, adds two nodes. And so, you know, it's going to continue to grow, grow linearly. And then you think about yeah. what, what you have if you have one node. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess kind of the jump from the first node to the second node is, or sorry, from the first node to the second node is a little different because you only had one edge, but, you know, sort of, when you think of big theta and big O notation, you're dealing with, you know, bigger numbers, like how it grows as it gets very large. So because we're doing big theta, you don't really have to think about the base case of zero nodes or one node or two nodes. But if you right. just think about the general case, adding any node, I'm going to add two more edges. So that's theta. Okay. Yes. Just. Yep. Because part, the the, yep, part of the definition is like, you know, for all n greater than n naught, right? Like you have f of n is less than, oops, ah. right? like c1 of g of n, c2 of g of n. And it's this part right here. So like, you know, as it gets, as it gets bigger, you know, you can, that you only have to worry about those cases. You don't have to worry about all the numbers that are less than some, some n naught. But, so yeah, I mean, there's, for this one, it's simple, and it's kind of, you know, it's pretty easy to think about.